Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel in which I share about personal finance, investing and occasionally music. If you're not a subscriber yet and you like this type of content, remember to click on the subscribe button below. So today we will be talking about some of the financial lessons that we can learn from one of the world's most popular TV series. Squid Game, which is a Korean TV drama with nine episodes in which a group of strangers, 456 players, come together to participate in a series of challenges, which are children games, but deadly in nature. So only one survivor will be walking away with the cash price of 45.6 billion won, and in order to become the sole survivor, you will have to participate in the games and win while watching other people lose and die, or you have to literally kill off other players. So the thing to note here is that these group of players, they actually voluntarily participate in those games because they are caught in dire financial situations and are in desperate need of cash. So you can see that it can be pretty scary when your finances are messed up because we live in a world whereby money is essential for survival. So if you have financial hardship, it can cause you a lot of anxiety. And for some people, it even drove them to the point of suicide. And in the case of Squid Game, they die because they would rather die playing those games than die in the outside world, the real world. So let's see what type of lessons we can actually learn from this TV series so that we can remember to keep our financial health in check all the time. So the first lesson is to be a good steward of your finances. You should always spend your money wisely. Do not spend beyond your means. You should keep track of all your expenses, spend what is necessary, and do not take on debts beyond what you can afford to. Do not spend money just to look like you have money. Now, in this day of social media, we often see people showing off, whether they are traveling all across the world, posting their pictures, they may be taking business class or first class flights, they're showing off their luxury watches, their luxury bags, their luxury cars, and we as humans, we will get tempted as well. We want to have those kind of lifestyles. So some of us will even resort to racking up credit card debts because we want to be the owner of these kind of items and have these lavish experiences as well. But the thing to note is, all these debts can accumulate over time and they can cause you financial hardship if you're not able to service them. So you may think that it is all right, I have a job, I have salary coming up in the next few months, so I will be able to pay off all these debts. But what if you lose your job tomorrow? Or what if an emergency comes up and you need to have a lot of cash to finance that emergency? then you wouldn't be able to pay down your debt and your debts will accumulate across time and that would be pretty dangerous. So what you want to do instead is to spend wisely, save your money so that you can have a better future, so that you can afford the lifestyle that you actually want in the future. Now delaying gratification, it of course is hard. It requires self-control, discipline, some degree of sacrifice. But the rewards can be good because if you start to invest early instead of spending all your money on unnecessary items, the power of compounding can actually give you good rewards in the future and you can actually achieve financial independence earlier and retire earlier than your peers. So you will actually be better off in the future, although you have to give something up today. And I tell you, it will be worth it in the end. So that is very important to remember to keep your financial health in check. So the next lesson that we can learn is to not accumulate too much debt and to focus on paying down our debts if there are any. So the main character of the TV series, Jihan, has a gambling addiction and he has racked up a huge pile of debts. So he has got loan sharks chasing after him, threatening his life to the point that even his wife left him and took his daughter away. So what he did, instead of focusing on trying to pare down his debts, he stole money from his mother's account and used those money to bet on horses. Now, he won from horse betting, but he ran away with the money instead of using those money to pay down the debts, and his money ended up being stolen by other people. So 
So what he should have done is to use those money to pay down his debts so he would not get into so much financial trouble that loan sharks are threatening his life. And because he needed to get out of that situation, he resorted to participating in the deadly squid game. Now, if you have debts, you should focus on paring them down. At least make the minimum payment every month. And that is especially very important if you have credit card debts that carry high interest. Because the longer that you delay paying down those credit card bills, the interest amount will grow over time. And this can lead to your debts snowballing into a large amount to the point where it may become very hard for you to pay them down. So what you want to do is to make those minimum payments. If you are unable to service your debt, not only will you get into financial trouble as the interest amount grows larger and larger, your credit score will also get affected and this can affect your ability to get home loans or car loans in the future. It can also affect your employability as some employers will do background checks on people that they are thinking of hiring. So they will see whether you are a bankrupt person or whether you have a good credit score. So it is very important to remain financially healthy and manage your debts well. The next lesson is to not gamble using the money of other people. Now Jihan stole money from his mother's ATM card and used it to bet on horses. And then his friend Sang Wu got himself into a financial mess due to misappropriation of company funds whereby he stole money from his clients and invested them in the stock market in very risky investments. He also used his mother's possessions as collateral for those investments. And when he lost all those money, he had to resort to participating in the squid game in order to get himself out of that financial mess. So it is very important to not gamble because gambling is very risky. And even trading in a stock market or cryptocurrency market, it is also very risky. You may end up losing a lot of money. So what you want to do is play within your own means. Play with only what you can afford to lose and avoid taking out loans from other people, especially for risky purposes. Because if you're not able to repay them because you lose, then you will find yourself caught in very big trouble. So always be responsible for your own personal finance and investing decisions. Now, another lesson that we can learn from the series is that strategy is very important. You may not be the smartest, you may not be the strongest, but if you have a good strategy, you can still end up winning. In the area of finance, let's say trading. Now trading is very risky and not everyone can become a good trader. Even professional traders, they still lose money. You cannot necessarily expect to win on every trade. But if you have the right strategy, then you can actually limit your losses and overall emerge as someone that ended up winning. So in the series, we saw that in the tug of war round, Jihan's team composed of an old man as well as a couple of women. So in a game like the tug of war, you have to be physically strong in order to win. But you can see that even though Jihan's team did not compose the strongest players, their team still ended up winning because they use strategy in order to beat the other team. So in trading, in investing, as long as you have a good investing strategy, a good risk management strategy, you can still take control of the whole situation, limit your losses, cover your losses, and still end up making money. So what you want to do is think about how to manage your risks not just focus on your weakness, but think about how you can play to your own strengths as well as devise a strategy that will limit your losses. Now, a very important lesson is to be aware of scams and money games. If something sounds too good to be true, then it usually is too good to be true. 
Now in the TV series, Jihan tricked his mom in order to get access to her ATM card, which he then used to steal money out of his mom's bank account for his horse betting purposes. And then Sangwoo, his friend, stole money from the company's clients in order to bet on the stock market for his own risky investments. Both of them tried to find quick and easy ways to earn huge sums of money without spending their own capital and without using much of their own efforts. And when they fell into financial difficulties, they resorted to playing the squid games, although it meant that it may cost their lives because out of 456 players, 455 of them will die, only one will survive, but they were willing to take a shot at winning the cash prize and giving up their lives. They want it the quick and easy way. In another example, one of the players, Ali, paired up with Sangwoo in one of the games. And when Sangwoo found out that he was close to being eliminated, he tricked Ali. And Ali, being gullible enough, believed Sangwoo, and in the end fell into Sangwoo's trap and ended up dying instead, taking Sangwoo's place. So what we can learn here is that we should not simply believe in other people. There are a lot of people with ill intentions out there. These days, there are many scammers. So they will use quick get-rich schemes, money games in order to lure you into their traps. They're getting more advanced with their tricks and their methods, but often the common formula involves luring you into their trap with large rewards and a small risk. So it seems tempting and commonly they may ask you to deposit money into a trading platform. And for the first few times, they will let you win. They will let you win a lot of money so that you get a taste of winning, so that you will feel the winner's high. When you win, you will feel happy and confident and so you will put in more money into the platform to play more in order to earn more until the point when you find out that it is actually a scam when you are unable to withdraw any money from the platform and it is too late. So we should not just look for quick get-rich schemes because when it comes to money, we shouldn't rely on shortcuts. Sometimes it has to be the traditional way of saving money, investing it, let it grow over time so that you will reap the rewards as long as you are patient enough and you are disciplined enough. Do not simply trust what other people say. Do your own research and do your own due diligence before you believe what someone or some company says, no matter how good a product may seem. So the next lesson that we can learn is to always have a safety net in place. Now, Jihan cancelled off his mother's health insurance plan and instead used the money that would have otherwise been spent on health insurance to gamble on horses and other stuff. So when his mother felt ill, there was no health insurance plan in place and he did not have the cash required to pay for hospital bills. So he resorted to taking part in the squid game. But... He took too long, his mother could not wait and eventually succumbed to her illness, died. And Jihan deeply regretted his decision to cancel off the health insurance plan. So from here we can see that not having insurance and not having spare cash for emergency expenses can be very dangerous. So you should always try to have a safety net in place. Do not spend everything. Another lesson that we can learn is to know when to ask for financial help when we need it. A lot of people face financial hardships, but they do not tell anyone or ask for help until it is too late because they may think that it is embarrassing and they'd rather take things into their own hands. But they may just be digging deeper holes for themselves. And when they end up not being able to cope with everything, some of them even resort to suicide. So it is very important to know when and how to ask for the proper financial help that you need. And if it is financial, then there are options whereby perhaps you can get a personal loan from someone that you trust that is not out to rip you off, or you can consider a debt 
consolidation plan. So there are always options for you to consider. Don't just do anything stupid that you may regret. So from this TV series, we can see that our choices ultimately affect our future, no matter how insignificant they may be in the first place. So if you do not want to find yourselves being caught in desperate and dire financial situations like the players in the Squid Game, then you want to consider changing your bad financial habits from today onwards. So you want to spend wisely and save your money in order to lead a healthy and preferably debt-free financial life, starting as early as today onwards. If you have learned anything from today's video and you enjoy the content, please click on the like button below and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. Also, let me know in the comments section which is your favorite financial lesson that is applicable for you. And also share your thoughts on what you want me to discuss about in my next video. Until then, take care and stay safe.